We should come up with a signal of some sort. Why would we need a signal? Well, in case one of us gets into trouble, the other one can signal. What and, kind of trouble uh, are you planning on getting in my home? Well, it could be either of us. Uh, you're going to let me do the talking. We agreed on that. Yes. I thought we could start by going over the needs of the county. Right. Well, Lackawanna County has not been immune to the slow economic growth over the past five years. So for us, the name of the game is budget reduction. Awesome Blossom. What? I think we should share an Awesome Blossom. What do you say? They are awesome. You want to, Christian? Awesome? Sure. OK, sure. it's done. Actually, Megan, may we have an Awesome Blossom, please? Extra awesome. Now it is done. So hey, um, I heard if you have a, a very, very funny joke. The other day, you want to hear it? Christian, you don't, you don't have to listen to this. We it's okay, I like jokes. Okay. Just the one. Joke. Just one joke? Okay. Well, if it's just gonna be one, I will think of a different joke. Um... The first guy says, well, I'm an astronaut, so I drive a Saturn. And the second guy says, well, I am a pimp, so I drive a cheap Escort. And the third guy says, I got you both beat. I'm a proctologist, so I drive a brown probe. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my God, that's funny! I almost had awesome blossom coming out of my nose. <laughs> can, can I have a vodka tonic, please? <laughs> that's delicious. I love it. We would probably be upset with ourselves if we went this whole night without talking business. So mm. Dunder Mifflin can provide a level of personal service to the county that the warehouse chains just can't match. Well, we are out to save money. What's the bottom line? <laughs> That's why I wanted a signal between us, so I wouldn't have to just shout nonsense words. That's her fault. Did somebody say baby back ribs? Hmm? Hmm. I don't think Christian has time for that. I have time. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, ribs. Right down the street, mm-hmm. Kenneth Road, born and raised. Spent my whole life right here in Lackawanna County, and I do not intend on moving. I know this place. I know how many hospitals we have. I know how many schools we have. It's home, you know? I know the challenges of this county's up against. Here's the thing about those discount suppliers. They don't care. They come in, they undercut everything, and they run us out of business. And then, once we're all gone, we jack up the prices. I don't know. It's, it's bad. It's terrible. It is. You know what? It really is. Oh, true. I don't know. I guess I could give you guys our business, but you have to meet me halfway, OK? Because they're expecting me to make cuts. Well. Corpus gonna go ballistic, but uh, you think we could, Jan? Can you not do that? It's disgusting. You know I have soft teeth. How could you say that? Oops. Excuse me for a second. You guys know each other. I was his babysitter. And now you guys are dating? Purely carnal, that's all you need to know. Would you write down your email? Because I have just so many questions. Email? Never mind. Okay. All right. There we go. Everybody enjoying their meal? Hey, babe. Yeah? How about we take the beer sign down until our guests leave, and then we can discuss it? No. No. I'm going to leave it up. I think it ties the whole room together. OK. Jack thinks Hunter's very talented. You know what? I don't think he's that good. Sure. 
At least he's an artist. BFD, I'm a screenwriter. And I'm a candle maker, but you don't hear me bragging about it. No, all you do is you get me to try to work on my rich friends for an investment opportunity. Man, I would love to burn your candles. You burn it, you buy it. Oh, good. I'll be your first customer. But you're hardly my first. That's what she said! this guy, Dwight Schrute in the building. This is Ryan, the new temp. What's up? Nice to meet you. Introduce yourself, be polite. Uh, Dwight Schrute, assistant regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager. So, uh, Dwight, tell him about the, uh, the kung fu and the, uh, car and everything. Uh, yeah, I got a, uh, 78 280Z. I bought it for 1200 fixed it up, so now we're three grand. That is his profit. Yeah, uh, new engine, suspension, I got a respray. I got some photos. Hold on, hold on. Judge is in session. What is the problem here? You put my stuff in jello again. <laughs> That's real professional. Thanks. This is the third time, and it wasn't funny the first all two right, times I did, right. Jim. It's okay here, uh, but people sometimes take advantage because it's so relaxed. I'm a volunteer sheriff's deputy on the weekends, and you cannot screw around there. That's sort of one of the rules. What is that? It's my staple. No, 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 no! Do not! Take it out. You have to eat it out of there because there are starving people in the world, and which I hate, and it is a waste of that kind of Okay, food. you know what? You can be a witness. Can you reprimand him, please? How do you know it was me? It's always you. Are you gonna discipline him or not? Ooh, discipline, kinky. <laughs> All right, here's the deal, you guys. The thing about a practical joke is that you have to know when to start as well as when to stop. Yeah. And yeah, and Jim, now is the time to stop putting Dwight's personal effects into Jell-O. <clears throat> okay. Dwight, I'm sorry, because I've always been your biggest flan. <laughs> oh, nice. See, that's the way it is around here. It just kind of goes around and around. You, uh, around. you should have put him in custody. Oh, hey, hey, yes, new guy. <laughs> He's cars. Okay, that's, that's great. Crazy. I guess uh, what I'm most concerned with is uh, damage to company property. That's all. Pudding. Pudding. I'm trying to think of another dessert to do. Sorry, babe. I'm just beat. It's OK. I'll see you at home. OK. Hey, don't try to lose too much money, all right? In okay. case we still want to want a honeymoon. Okay. <laughs> hey, Halford. Keep an eye on her, all right? OK. Will do. Hey, how's it going? Good, especially after I took all your money in poker. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Hey, uh, can I talk to you about something? About when you want to give me more of your money? No, Did I you want to do that now? Literally. We can go inside. I'm feeling kind of good tonight. I was just, um... I'm in love with you. What? I'm really sorry if that's weird for you to hear, but I needed you to hear it. Probably not good timing. I know that. I just... What are you doing? What do you expect me to say to that? I just needed you to know. Once. Well, I, um... I... I can't. Yeah. You have no idea... Don't do that. ...what your friendship means to me. Come on. I don't want to do that. I want to be more than that. I can't. I'm really sorry... ...if you misinterpreted things. It's probably my fault. Not your fault. I'm 
sorry I misinterpreted uh, our friendship. About 10 minutes ago? No, I didn't know what to say. Yes, I know. Um, I don't know, Mom, he's my best friend. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, I think I am. Um, I have to go. I will. Listen, Jim. You're the one who said we needed more culture. This is culture to you? It's her first try. Yeah, on Van Gogh's first try, he drew the hands of the peasants. Meaning what? Meaning real art takes courage, okay, and, and honesty. Well, those aren't Pam's strong points. Yeah, exactly. That's why this is motel art. Thanks for coming. Pam Caso. Sorry I'm late. I had to race across town. Oh, Michael. Wow. You did these freehand? Yep. My God, these could be tracings. Oh. Look at this one. Wow. You nailed it. How much? What do you mean? I don't see a uh, price. Um, you want to buy it? Well, yeah. Yeah, we have to have it for the office. I mean, there's my window and there's my car. Is that your car? Uh-huh. <sighs> that is our building. And we sell paper. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. What? Do you have something in your pocket? Chunky. Do I have? No, thank you. It is a message. It is an inspiration. It is a source of beauty. And without paper, it could not have happened. Unless you had a camera. So I've been meaning to tell you, I want to take you out for lunch for your last day. Oh. What do you think? Tomorrow? Lunch? You and me? Okay. You're not leaving tomorrow. You're leaving today, right? Maybe. Wow, so that's it, huh? Just four o'clock and you are gone for good. Why am I so sad? Am I doing the wrong thing? Absolutely not. It's just that sometimes goodbyes are a bitch. <laughs> T-shirt idea. Goodbye, stink. Okay. All right. So, James Halpert. You started with his company as a fine young man. You know what I think we should do? I think we should just say the goodbyes for tomorrow at lunch. Oh. Okay. And then tomorrow, I can tell you <clears throat> what a great boss you turned out to be. 
Best boss I ever had. Oh, shoot. That's my cab. All right. All right. Listen, Michael, I, I really, I did text Pam, but. I know, it's okay. <clears throat> Just give her a hug, all right? I will see you tomorrow at lunch. I am looking forward to lunch. And hearing about what a great boss I am. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Okay. Got almost everybody, so. Holly's my family now. She's my family. And the babies that I make with her will be my children. The people that you work with are just, when you get down to it, your very best friends. They say on your deathbed, you never wish you spent more time at the office. But I will. Gotta be a lot better than a deathbed. I actually don't understand deathbeds. I mean, who would buy that? Well, I guess this is it. Hey, will you guys let me know if this ever airs? Thank you. All right, oh. This is gonna feel so good getting this thing off my chest. Michael, you have to get to that puck before halftime, or the whole stadium will explode. I know. It's a good thing my trainer and mentor is here to cheer me on. Cherokee Jack, Michael, he died. This one's for you, Cherokee Jack. We filmed this during an actual Scranton High School hockey game. They were trying to qualify for states. Shh, shh, shh. It's fine. It's great. No, no. Actually, it was really screwed up because they they were trying to qualify. They were disqualified. They had to forfeit the game. Undefeated season. That's why there were so many people there. Why is your face gold? Why do you care? I'm just making conversation. I worked in a gold factory. We had a boss who only cared about money. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. It is good. No, no, it, it's not. Eat the gold. It's and not. One day, I looked in the mirror. But they really seem to be enjoying it. Well, I guess you Come are on. what you eat. Please, golden face, let us go. <sighs> Cherokee Jack. I want you to take all your frustrations with women, the system, with everything. Take it out on the puck. All on the puck. <laughs> oh. Sports games again. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Some breakfast for me, some breakfast for you. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I guess I did let him be a robot. I'll get it. Man, I love being retired. Scarn here. Michael is the president. Hello, sir. I need you for another mission. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm in. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Isn't the president evil? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. No, 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 he's doing it to catch the president. No, no, Dwight, he's just being stupid. <laughs> well, Michael Scarn was back in the game. And I bet you're wondering, why do I know so much about Michael Scarn? Well, because I am Michael Scarn. This next award is going out to our own little Pam Beasley. I think we all know what award Pam is going to be getting this year. It is the Whitest Sneakers Award because she always has the whitest tennis shoes on. Get on down here! Pam Beasley, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here we go. I have so many people to thank for this award. <laughs> okay, first off, my kids. Because yep. I couldn't have done it without them. Thank you. Let's give Michael a round of applause for emceeing tonight because this is a lot harder than it looks. And also because of Dwight, too. Um, so finally, I want to thank God because God gave me this Dundee. And I feel God in this chilies tonight. Woo! What a great year for the Dundies. We got to see Ping, and we learned Michael's true feelings for Ryan, which was touching. And we heard Michael change the lyrics to a number of classic songs, which for me has ruined them for life. What? Nothing. Okay. What? I don't know. What? Oh my god. You are so drunk. Did you get that? <laughs> Please tell me that you got this. This is all going to be on. Woman, that's a senior. Grab it, Tom. Grab it, Tom. It's okay. I'm a sheriff's deputy. Well, he's a volunteer. Don't get into that now. We need something to cushion our head. Throw a pillow? A cushion? Do I get my shirt? Get off of me! No! Awesome I'm sorry, sir. You're gonna have to put your clothes on. Ah! People are trying to I eat. Can't. Was this year's Sundays a success? Well, let me see. I made Pam laugh so hard that she fell out of her chair and she almost broke her neck. So I killed. Almost. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. I just want to say that this was the best Sundays ever! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful, careful, careful. We have a strict policy here not to overserve. Apparently, this young woman was sneaking drinks off other people's tables. I Xeroxed her driver's license, and she is not welcome at this restaurant chain ever again. Great work tonight. What's your step? Excellent. Thanks. I had to uh, check her pupils to make sure there wasn't a concussion. Yes, that too, but I mean with the audio. Great, great work. I feel bad about what I wrote on the bathroom wall. No, you don't. <laughs> Up your shoes. <sighs> careful, careful, whoa. <laughs> All right, easy. Almost there. Hey, um, can I ask you a question? I wanted to say thanks. It's not really a question. <laughs> okay, let's get you home. Drunk. <laughs> good night. Have a good night. Thank you, Angela. Yeah. Hey, Michael. Oh, hey, do you still work here? I'd like to introduce you to my replacement. Nah. Come on. No, I think I will pass. Michael Scott, this is Holly. Hi. Hi, yeah, right. Okay, well, they hired a female Toby. Good for the world. Thank you, God, for creating two of you. Here's how things work here. My job is to make the office fun, 
your job is to make the office lame. And we have an eternal struggle, you and I, and only one of us can be the winner. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna win. Man, someone doesn't like HR. Yeah. What did you do to him? Nothing. No, he tortured me with his awfulness. Yeah, I know what you mean. I nearly fell asleep when he gave me a tour of the files. Um, well, look, I'll let you get back to work, but I, I really look forward to working with you, Mr. Scott. Mm -hmm. You can pop, Michael. Thanks to Toby, I have a very strong prejudice against human resources. I believe that the department is a breeding ground for monsters. What I fail to consider, though, is that not all monsters are bad. Join me in the middle of ecstasy. tickets the day I saw that YouTube video. I knew we'd need a backup plan. The boat was actually plan C, the church was plan B, and plan A was marrying her a long, long time ago. Pretty much the day I met her. <laughs>